Hey everyone, welcome back to my home. My name is Lynn and I'm glad you're joining me tonight. I have just finished a delicious cup of regular ShopRite coffee. ShopRite's just a local supermarket that has their own brand, but I had pumpkin spice uh, latte creamer in it and I just finished a delicious, yeah, plate is empty of chocolate cake and treated myself. It's a fall day and it's chilly. I put my fall blanket on me just to take the chill off. We actually turned the heat on to take the chill off the house. We don't like to turn the heat on until November, but it was 41 degrees when we got up this morning. So we needed to just, ooh, take the chill off. And usually we'll turn it on for like an hour or two and then turn it off and leave it off to the next day. Do you guys do that? Do you like to take the chill off? I know some of you have colder temperatures than we do, and some of you are probably still in the 80s wherever you might live, but yeah, that's where we are. The trees by me are just starting to change. Like if I drive away from our home and go down the highway a bit, in my backyard, in my front yard, I have a lot of pine trees, so we don't see a lot of color changes. I'm just looking out, the skies have been so gray for the past week because of the rain it has just been relentless for two weekends maybe three weekends in a row and um you know, just trying to find that cozy vibe. I know I've talked about this before in the state of New Jersey, so many people were split right down the middle for two reasons. Either you live in, and if you're a New Jersey person, you'll understand this. Either you're from North Jersey, it's like the South Jersey people go, oh yeah, they're from North Jersey. Or the North Jersey people go, oh yeah, the people from South Jersey. That's one, um, I'd say division in New Jersey. And the other one would be those of us that enjoy the fall and the winter and early part of spring. And we just love that cozy fall air, the smell, the sound of the crickets, the color changes and all the rest, the cooler air. And then you have our beach bums that like would love to live in Florida, I think, and have the hot weather year round, the beach weather. Yes, we have the Jersey Shore and all the rest. And I, you know, I have days I enjoy that. But I always joke with my friends that are beach bums. I'm like, move to Florida. Why do you live in New Jersey where we have distinct four seasons? I have to say, to me, that's one of the best things about living in New Jersey. I don't know about other states, but we have four seasons. We have a winter, we have a spring, we have a summer, and we have a fall. Some places have like, you know, spring for a week or fall for a week and then they jump right into the one season or the next but you know all those things to me just a season of change are you in a season of change we are in a season of change in our home and in our family our family is expanding we are getting our first grandchild in a few months so we are excited about that we are going through some major changes with some of our family members with health problems and other things. There's some other, you know, there's things in the family that are happening that uh, kind of, you know, you just kind of take a deep breath and pray and see what you can do. And, and just a season of the kids are changing, growing, going into their own career path, um, all kinds of change there. Graham and I are in a season of change in the sense that we're older working toward retirement. I don't know when that will be. Um, a year ago, I would have said it was going to be at a certain age and things have since changed for the better. Um, that making me feel like maybe it will be a little bit longer before I retire, which I can't go into right now, but it's, it's a good thing. And um, just grandma and I are changing more into the empty nest and what do we do with that? And how do we handle that? So I don't know what season of change you're in, but I wanted to talk to you real quick about making your house a home and a haven and a place where you can light a candle, have a delicious cup of coffee 
and have a nice piece of pie or cake or anything like that and it be that special warm cozy place for you i was listening to money mom the other day and she was talking about pretty much the same thing and i'm going to leave um her video in uh, the description below and a link if you are not familiar with sensible living with money mom she's a great wonderful person out in texas does a lot of frugal living a lot of budget saving tips but a lot of um, thought provoking videos and I really appreciate things like that. And one of the things she talked about, I think she actually got this information from another YouTuber, but either way, she was just really talking about making your house a special place for you to be. And I'm gonna just pop up some pictures as we're talking here of pictures of my home right now. And I did a fall house tour just a snippet of my house. If you've missed that, I'll also leave that in the description below. But you know, when I come home, whether it's a great day at work or a horrible, a really rough day at work, or the other day I had a meeting and um, I didn't want to go. It wasn't at work. Actually, it had nothing to do with work. But I had to have a meeting for an event that's up and coming. And I, I told my husband, I don't want to go. I, I just really don't even want to be part of it. I was asked to be part of it. I can't go into it, but I needed to be part of it, let's just say. And I just kind of went into it knowing that I just probably need, needed to pull up my bootstraps and be a big girl and go and smile through it, whether I felt like it or not. And it was a awkward meeting for me. Nobody did anything. It was just, it is what it is. But I came home and the whole time I'm driving home, I'm like, I cannot wait to go home. And I came home and I got a little choked up and, you know, felt a little, ugh, you know, and I had to have a moment and I'm a, I'm a, vol, um, a verbal processor. So whether I have someone at home, like my husband to talk to, or if I was home alone, I'd probably light a candle, have my coffee, and I would talk to myself. And I just need to talk things out, which I did. And at the end of the day, I said to my husband, you know what? I'm grateful for a good night's sleep and that God's mercies are new in the morning. And I could get up and have a fresh new day with a fresh new start. And all of that feeling of anxiety and awkwardness that I had, I know would be lighter the next day. And so it was. But what makes you want to go home? What makes you feel good about your home? And I have talked about this over and over in my many of my videos making your house a home it needs to be a place like this blanket this candle i even go as far as I, this little plate let me just now it's going to have crumbs on it let me sprinkle some of them off of my coffee cup it's a dirty plate right now because it's got chocolate icing on it but this little plate was a dollar it's just a tiny little plate and i have probably a collection of eight or nine oddball plates like that that I pick up and when I want to have a snack or I want to have a bagel for breakfast or I want to have a couple of cookies or I don't know what I get out a fun dish and I actually go and I look through them and I pick the one that is like that's the one that's the one I want and the same with my mugs when I want to have a cup of coffee or tea I will go pick out a seasonal mug that kind of suits my fancy for the moment or a pretty teacup to have a cup of tea. And I might light a candle and I might put on some mood lighting. We have a lot of, um, for the lack of a better word, twinkle lights, Christmas lights throughout our home that we keep up year round. My husband is a big Christmas light person year round. They're all over our home and you'll see those in some of the pictures that I'm putting up here. But that just makes our home cozy and inviting. And my home is decorated for me. My home is a collection of things that I love. My home has memories of everything I look at. I have, let me show you this right here. I have one on my dining room table and I have one over on another table. And my husband put these little lights in here. Let's see if I can get it on a, what color can we do? Let's do green. How's that? And he put these puck lights in there. You could probably, I think it has the availability for a tea light, but he just thought these were nice. And 
this lantern. It was a dollar, a dollar. And it's a nice, I don't know, 10 something. It's pretty heavy, but I have two of them. And something like this, I bought at Goodwill. It made my tablescape just cozy. Now, something like that, I can add a seasonal piece of decor like I did here, the Dollar Tree. So this whole thing, you know, the, this, I don't know where he got the puck lights, but this whole thing here, it, you know, maybe $2, $2.50 to put on my table. The candle that you're looking at, I paid 50 cents for the candle and it's on a nice silver candle holder and I paid a dollar. I think it was a dollar thirty or a dollar twenty six. It was an odd amount at a thrift store out in Pennsylvania. And those little things make your house special for you. My house is a collection of my personality, of my husband's personality, of all the things that we like. We have sayings on the wall that say home and faith and hope and gather and gratitude and the gathering room and signs that say coffee because we're a big coffee people and I have wreaths and I have memories of different things that I like and I have very nostalgic old coffee pots that I've collected and, and little vintage pieces and twinkle lights and just things that, oh, they just, I could sit here for hours in my own dining room and just look around. The sign that you see behind here was from a bakery out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I love Lancaster, Pennsylvania, love it. My husband says we need to go out and hear that clippity clop because you hear the Amish buggies going by. There's something peaceful about it. The um, sights, the smells, the, the atmosphere of family, of community is ever so present when you go out there. And that sign behind me is from a bakery and it's got the writing on it. I got it at a garage sale from some lady's house on Route 23 out in Pennsylvania. So if you know that area that I'm talking about, we love to hit Route 23. There's lots of stuff. Get off the turnpike and you just hit that whole area for thrifting, good shopping, and great yard sales. We look for those things that make our home special. Now, when we get tired of them, they only cost us a few dollars. After a couple of years or a season, we can pass them on. But is it just the things in the home that make it nice? No, it's the attitude that goes with it. It's the people that are in it. Your home might be filled with one person. That might be you. Your home might be filled with many because you have a family. Your home might be filled with a roommate. I don't know who is in your home, but I can tell you this. If you are not content with yourself, if you do not like yourself, I always joke and you know, you see me, myself and I, and there are days that I just can't think straight. And I'll joke at work and I'll say, if I was me, what would I have done with that? Because I can't find something. And then people look at me and go, what do you mean if you were yourself, you are yourself. And you know that phrase you'll say, I'm just not myself today. So I take that literally that I am not myself today. So if I was me, where would I have put it? Because I can't think straight some days and I, I have to laugh at myself and, you know, just enjoy that moment of even that being silly with my own person and not making fun of myself, but just giving myself the, the opportunity to have a laugh about a situation that maybe could be annoying or overwhelming. Well, take that into your own home. Do you bring joy in your home? When you bring yourself home, do you bring joy and contentment? Even on a bad day, I can have the things in my home and I can look around and find peace, joy, and contentment in the decor of my home. And that fills my soul with peace, joy, and contentment. And that can change my attitude. Now, maybe I've had a really rough day. I can light a candle. I can make a cup of tea. I can have a piece of chocolate cake for dinner and cancel dinner because I just need a little pick-me-up. And I can put on a Christmas movie, which is my favorite, or any other movie or a YouTube channel that I really enjoy. And I hear that At Home with Lynn Wilson is a great video, great channel to watch. Little plug there. And, um, you know, just watch. I have become friends with some of the YouTubers that I watch. Maybe not, you know, grabbing a cup of coffee with them, but some of them I email, some of them I text. 
Some of them we, you know, message each other on Facebook. Some of them I've actually met in person and have been in their home and had a meal with them and gotten to know their family. And some of them are just virtual friends. But either way, it's still a friend. It's a friendly face to see and to just bring in your home. What are you bringing in your home? Are you bringing in good things, good vibes in your home? Are you bringing in good healthy foods that are gonna nourish your body? Are you bringing in good healthy programs on the TV and books and literature and magazines and even the type of music that you're listening to, bringing in good healthy things that are, you know, changing the way you're thinking. Don't listen to the news all day long. It's not going to benefit you, but listening to something uplifting, especially when you're down, can really make a difference. Having good foods, having good music, bringing home a friend and saying, hey, I'm making a pot of spaghetti tonight for dinner. You wanna come over to my house and, you know, why don't you bring a salad? I'll make the dinner and let's just chat as friends. Bringing in some fresh flowers to just brighten your day maybe one day and putting a centerpiece on your table. I don't know, what are you bringing home into your home? Make your house a home, a place for you to find refuge, security, joy. You know that, that just when you, whether you're having a great day or a terrible day, home should be the place that just is where you wanna be. As you know, they say in the movie where she clicks her heels three times, there's no place like home. Leave a comment below. I'd love to know what do you do to make your home full of joy? What do you do in your home that brings you contentment, peace, tranquility? What do you do? Is it a seasonal thing? Is it an everyday thing? I love ideas from you all. I might not always get the chance to comment back. I'm working on that. I'm trying. I do read them. But I'd love to hear from you on what do you do to bring peace and joy to your home. And leave a message. Leave a comment. That would be wonderful. And I will catch you all on the next video.